Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Anu's Hobby Lobby. In this video, I am sharing with you all this butter murku or uh, we call it as a venna murku in Telugu. And this uh, murku speciality is it's uh, it's not too spicy, it's mild in taste and also we are using the fresh homemade uh, butter or venna. So I just took from heavy cream, uh, so heavy whipping cream I used and uh, using a blender like uh, uh, for four cups of rice flour I'm adding about a cup of uh, uh, heavy milk here and also some of the spices which I'm gonna use is uh, two teaspoons of sesame seeds as well as a teaspoon of uh, ajwain and uh, a teaspoon of uh, red chili powder as well and this is optional so some people won't even add any red chili powder but just to give a little bit of spiciness there i just added and also salt as per your taste so you can add up to at least two teaspoons of salt and uh, 400 ml of water into this so it's like one cup for one cup of rice flour we are adding one cup of uh, water here so gradually we'll be adding not everything uh, at a go so we'll just add the last 100 ml once we mix everything so just as uh, you mix it with your hand you will know how much you need it and uh, once you mix everything this should be like a uh, chapati dough it's it's very soft as you have added the butter and i have taken this uh, uh, murku instrument uh, which uh, you can get it in the any of the stores or amazon as well so we'll be just taking the some of uh, the dough and put it into this every equipment is different so you can just uh, follow the process how it will be like for a few you just need to turn it around for a few it's automatic and this is like a gun model like where you just need to press it take a pan add oil once it's hot we'll just uh, start adding uh, the muruku by uh, taking the star shaped uh, plate so once it's like after like a couple of minutes just gently flip it onto the other side make sure you're not breaking it and uh, once it's fried on both the sides in oil so once you fry it into like a light golden brown you can just take it out make sure you're not uh deep frying a lot and uh, don't get it into a dark shade this will be a little bit lighter in color and if you do not add the red chili powder it will be even more light so we'll continue this process until the complete batches are done and we'll transfer it into a tissue paper so that the excess oil is removed and uh, once it's cooled down we'll transfer back to a uh, box or can which is a tight and you can store this uh, murku fresh for up to like 15 days uh, to three weeks as well so enjoy this murku for this krishnashtami this is as simple as that but simple ingredients as well so i hope you like this recipe if so please do like share comment and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching i'll be meeting you all in my next video until then take care bye bye